I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's the spoiler-free review for Alone. I really enjoyed how this story kicked off. I got a good sense of the main character's journey to start a new life. The vibe over the first half an hour was definitely worth my time. Beautifully filmed and seriously getting my attention. This actor is the strongest on screen and unfortunately the main actress here didn't cut it for me. To be balanced, she's fine at the beginning, but she doesn't have the screen presence to draw me into her journey. She's a bit cold. I didn't care for her character's well-being. The rest of how this film played out jumps from one missed creative opportunity to another. It falls into that predictable, quick-to-get-the-production-completed lane. I'll back this up by explaining why Alone misfires. I'm so bored with witnessing female victims in films not having a spine to fight back. You see, in real life, people, regardless of gender, find strength they didn't know they have when suddenly facing a horrifying death where they got a fight to stay alive. And I'm fed up seeing women victims being compliant when I can see plenty of ways their survival instinct should have kicked in. Movies need to balance this weak girl victim shit out. It's really boring and it's lazy writing. One example is when a victim here had an opportunity not to remain quiet. They could shout and scream to get help when a particular individual is just a few feet away chatting for ages on a cell phone. That would have elevated the dramatic power of that moment for sure. It would have branched the story's flow into an interesting space. Here's another example when the main actress gets out of a river. Why wasn't the actor encouraged to shiver so I could feel that biting cold when watching? It's little details like that are so important. In yet another scene, the main character had a chance to run away from a hellish unfolding situation in a forest but they stayed put. I just didn't believe it. And then she's shot and in subsequent scenes it's like the writer and director forgot to include any consequences of the main actress actually being shot. It's like the bullet never went into her. Then there's the several ideas included which are unrealistic, unbelievable. When I was witnessing the violence, the editing is bad, consistency is lacking as well, especially when blood is on the side of a face one moment, then in the next scene it's gone. If I'm immersed into a story or a film's bloody good, I won't notice stuff like that. The excellent standard set up at the start quickly disappears and I seriously wanted to stop watching. Then shit gets even worse, it's laughable. All I'll say is that moment in the back of a truck with a cell phone and you'll vibe with me on this point that it's total bullshit. This movie treats audiences as if they're really stupid. Another missed opportunity is that this actor's character here is really interesting. His arc, his background story should have been explored and cleverly threaded into the ride and that would have genuinely improved this experience. So to understand my frustration how this film should make audiences feel, watch the original Wolf Creek again, and to understand clever, intelligent and uncomfortable creative ideas that seriously get under your skin, watch the film Chained, directed by Jennifer Lynch. Then you'll get why Alone is such a creatively lazy production. However, if you prefer a gentle, vanilla, predictable movie, then three quarters of this film gives you exactly that. Such a shame after such a genuinely intriguing start. Now here's the trailer for my interactive website. This is William Friedkin. Don't panic. If your screen starts to bleed, you are about to witness bleeding I'm the anonymous horror film critic, the creator and narrator of immersive scary stories. Bleedingcritic.com is the interactive horror platform where horror fans have a voice and are actually seen. 
horror memories. This is where you talk about that moment from any film that really damaged you. And there's more interaction for you with horror therapy. Share that moment from your real life where something scared or terrified you. I like short horror films, especially ones that don't get the attention they deserve. So if you've made a short horror film, send it to me. I'll even add a special filmed introduction. You can watch the short horror films I've chosen right now. On to my horror content. Scary Stories UK is my YouTube channel, so all my YouTube videos are here as well. And they will freeze your spine. Check out my interviews and photo galleries. And watch my spoiler-free film reviews. And when you see any of the films I've reviewed, you can add your own rating. Follow me across social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scary Stories UK. Follow and interact with me on Twitter, at Bleeding Critic, and on Instagram. Do a bit of retail therapy with clown merch. There's five designs of my face splattered over 50 different products. And Patreon is a way you can support my interactive horror platform and my YouTube channel from as little as $5 a month. During the time you've watched this video, I've scuttled along your ear canal into your skull and I ain't leaving.